What's up FOMO fam? I hope you managed to stay a little safe in these bloody crypto times. The whole market is getting wrecked, but I'm not going anywhere, even if the bear market will last two years. I mean, this is the time where we should accumulate and therefore I would like to take a look at a certain project, which is pretty interesting because it's going on for a while. It's outperforming the market by far. It's giving you some nice returns. So I think that these are the times where we should start looking at, you know, a bigger, more diversified portfolio to get a little more cash in these bear markets so we can accumulate so we can take as much profits as possible if the bull market comes when the bull market comes basically also in this video i'm gonna give away 15 dollars worth of bnb so keep watching somewhere i'm gonna ask you a question leave the right comment you have a chance to win maybe subscribe to the channel now you're here let's take a look at taser protocol tazor taser i don't even know man doesn't matter because this is doing, you know, pretty, pretty exceptional to put it like that. This is Tazar protocol. And if you see this and you watch multiple videos of mine that you know exactly what this is, this is a rebase project. Why do I still talk about rebase projects while so many rebase projects are failing? Well, because the rebase projects that are actually original are the ones that not only survive, but the ones that, you know, will be big. And in the meantime, even if it goes flat, you make so much money because the rewards are insane. Something is very original about this one because you see it in the thumbnail of the video, you control the APR and it sounds a little weird, like, okay, then I'll put it at the highest. I'm gonna show you how this works, but uh, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I don't know everything, but as far as I know, this is the only rebase protocol that does that. So before we dive into that, I want to you know, put some things in perspective right here because this is the price chart. I don't know why I put it on the day, oh, it's on the weekly, okay, here. I put it on the daily right now. All right, so if we take a look at the price chart, what do you notice? It has two, you know, big red candles, but at the time of recording, the whole market has, and this is not that bad if you compare it to the rest of the market. Matter of fact, if we take a look at the highest point and where we are right now, it is sitting 40% down. And this was in the last two weeks, right? If we go to the crypto market and we search uh, for the coins in the top 100, so these are the best coins, right? And I'm not even talking about the mid caps and the low caps and the ones that are way more volatile. These are, you know, supposed to be the safe ones. Then you'll see that only in the last week, it's already down 40%, right? If we look at Aave, for example, and this is the biggest loser in the last week, of course, so it's another comparison, but if we take a look at the last two weeks, Aave was sitting at $120. It's now sitting at $62, right? And it got a little back up even. It was 54. So it came down more than 50%. It's kind of crazy that a rebase project managed to do a lot better than one of the biggest DeFi projects out there in the top 100 where everybody is so bullish about, which is, you know, supposed to be a lot, lot less volatile. Plus, um, Aave doesn't reward you like Tazor does, of course, right? I mean, you do not get a big APR on Aave. You get, you know, rewards on Aave, but not like this, right? So, um, therefore, I, I just like to put stuff like that in perspective to feel like, okay, is this actually a good play right now? And, you know, as long as this is sustainable, I'm very curious to see what it's going to do. Now, for the rest, what are some key points that I like even more? So, you can control the APR. Um, it's outperforming, you know, a lot of things in the crypto top 100 as being a rebase project and it's on so many chains right here i mean as you can see it is on ethereum binance avalanche phantom polygon theta harmony tesos telos sorry songbird i haven't even i don't even know what it is by the way <laughs> cello and moon river one of my favorite change most unrested chains but um you know i think most of you are mostly uh, using the Binance Smart Chain. So in that case, you can just go select the network, go for the Binance Smart Chain. But if you feel like, man, I'm using Phantom or Avalanche or whatever a lot lately, then you can just choose that, right? So um, that's already uh, very nice. Now, how about the sustainability of this project? Because is it that new? Is it that old? Well, like I showed you right here, it goes back quite a while, uh, one month now, and it's basically sitting where it was one month ago, okay? So it means that if you bought one month ago, then you will have on that buy no, no profits, no losses, but in the meantime, you can stake it for such a high APR that you more than doubled, tripled probably your holdings already. Now, I would like to show you this because it's pretty interesting in my opinion. Uh, like I said, they have three big advantages, multiple chains, uh, controlled APR and outperforming the crypto market. 
Now, one of the most important things, of course, is also the community. So before I'm gonna show you how this works, which you probably already know, um, but I'm gonna show you anyway, just to be sure. What's up with the community of this project? How is the community doing? Is it a good community? Now, I must say that they have almost 6,000 members. When you look at the group, um, you can scroll a little bit and there is not crazy much talking going on, but it is active though. And it's very understandable since one, it's a rebase project. So people are, you know, these are the projects with less interaction because you basically just buy it and let it go. And you don't have to do anything with the project anymore. Plus it's a bear market. Most people are getting freaked out and bored out of the market. So when you take these things in consideration, I think it's pretty active still. And it's a good way to, you know, always just be, be part of the telegram. If you invest in a project, doesn't matter what, because if these messages are always helpful you have all the uh, information you need like here it's going to be big don't uh, take a word for it simply go to and buy ten dollars or more and uh, ten dollars of cash and then stake both come back every day and compound well up you have to buy two 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 okay yes two i'm gonna explain to you why but it's good that the uh, mods are kind of active in here. The pin messages keep you updated about everything right there. So link of the website, Telegram, all that's in the description of the video. Definitely check it out. Um, the website, I'm going to show you how it works because this one works a little bit different than a usual rebase project. There is one little downside uh, about this project and I cannot lie. I always have to mention if I don't like something and that is, but they are improving it already though. Um, that if you look at the price, they don't have a lot of liquidity and the liquidity is mostly unlocked. They have two tokens. This one is basically completely unlocked and also not a lot of liquidity. So therefore, um, I do want to tell you that it brings a shitload of extra risk, of course, because you basically have to trust the dev with your money, which you don't know the guy. So in theory, that's the stupidest thing that you can do, but you know, don't don't put a thousand dollars in man or something like that just play with some money that you feel like okay i can lose this because these are the kind of projects that um i really like because either you lose a little money or you gain a lot of money and that's basically the purpose of this whole channel right not one project that i discussed you should put more than you know five percent of your complete portfolio in if you do that don't fucking blame me if you lose it um but you also don't have to thank me when you do 100x because it's always your, deci your decision what you're going to do with it, right? So with that being said, let's check out the project right here. So first, if you are interested in the project, then you have to do two things um, or you have to do, you can do two things. One, they have the Tezor token. Tezor token, that's this one right here. This is the one that you are staking for the APR that they give, okay? You get a standard APR of 10%. So um, that's also what I like. It's not a rebase project with 3 million percent APR because let's be honest, the tokenomics and the community and everything has to be perfect for that to be sustainable, right? Otherwise you just have to be really early and get out in time. Otherwise you're wrecked, right? So uh, that's one thing. They also have the TAS token. And the TAS token is the token that makes sure that if you uh, have more TAS tokens, the higher your APR gets. They have a calculator right here. Uh, so let's say you, you, know, you have an APR of 10%, right? Then how many tokens, TAS tokens do you need? Well, zero, because 10% is standard. But if you want you know, to have an APR of 20%, then you have to have 900 TAS tokens. If you want your APR to be, well, 100%, you have to be, have 8,000 TAS tokens. So the more TAS tokens you have, the higher the APR gets. So the APR is completely in your own control. And that's what I really like, because you know the sustain sustainability is so much different for everybody uh, or the rewards are different for everybody, which makes the sustainability a lot more, you know, uh, doable. So if you are here, like I said, links in the description of the video, they have both contract addresses right here. So the main token is Tezor, you can just copy it, you know, go to PancakeSwap, uh, well, 
you know, you probably know how this works. I don't know even why I show you this, but here you go. You paste it, import, done, I understand. Okay, cool. Uh, then you buy it with your BNB or BUSD or whatever. And then if you feel like I want to boost my APR, you can buy a little test token. And like I said, it's completely up to you how many you want to buy. So the total value deposited in this uh, platform is now almost half a million dollars, which is quite nice. All the links are here, by the way, if you feel like I wanna check out the community on Discord, on Telegram, I wanna see some press releases on LinkedIn, uh, the announcements on, Twi on Twitter, whatever. Um, I do want to take you through the documentation, uh, by the way, we have that right here, because here are some things that you need to know about the project, and then it's a wrap for it today. Big upside, by the way, team here, docs, right? Uh, first name, last name, picture, information, LinkedIn link. So they got that, you know, better than most of the projects. And that's a really good thing, especially with a rebase project. It gives a lot of trust. So um, I applaud for the guys for just doing that. Uh, you know, it's, it's, this is what we need. So this is pretty good to know. The test token has no limit to its supply, like any other rebase project basically, but the test token is only minted whenever rewards are due to users when they have staked Tezor. However, TAS, the reward tokens, controls the APR, APR that your staked Tezor receives. So the protocol reward token has the best use case ever. And I must say for a rebase project, they have a pretty decent fucking good use case. Roadmap, very nice as well. Clear, check it off, very good. So what are they going to do? Creating LPs for Tessar and TAS tokens on 10 other chains. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe they already done that, by the way, because they have a lot of chains. I don't know how up-to-date this roadmap is exactly. Tessar and TAS staking and Tessar bonding is fully activated on all 11 chains. That's quite a lot, man. Then the token listing approved on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. Accepting new partnerships from existing projects on 11 blockchains for Tessar bonding. Animated video explaining it, massive marketing campaign, NFT giveaway, always interesting, competitions for users to see who can obtain and maintain the highest APRs. So that's a good way to keep people involved in the project though. And then later on this year, holiday giveaway, uh, fillions, traffic donations to many different charities, which I really like, of course. I mean, uh, it, it's a good extra thing that they do. And then end of the year, major bonuses to the top 10 users that maintain the highest APRs for 2022. So that's what they basically got on the plans for now. And they got a pretty clear user guide. So if you feel like, ah, oh, watch this video, I still don't understand shit, then you can just go to the, uh, you know, to the website, says user guide right here. Takes you here and it shows you step by step, you know, how it works and what you have to do to get involved in this. Plus they have an audit by Audits Finance. And as they put it, it's the first audit. So they are probably going for a second. So uh, also very nice, man. So that's basically all you need to know. Check out the rest of the, the white paper for yourself if you're interested in it. There's a bit more prob uh, problems, are we prob? <laughs> bit more information. They got the problems and solutions. Um, you know, check it out for yourself, man. Question for the giveaway to win $15 worth of BNB. How many times have I said the name of this project? Leave a comment, you have a chance to win. Like the video if you like the video. Like I said, all the links are in the description of the video, so definitely go check it out. If you have an opinion about something, leave a comment. If you have not subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. Help me out a little bit. I'll give you more of this crypto tips, tricks, and you know, early gems, catches in these crypto bear markets. Guys, we are all gonna motherfucking make it. Bye!